Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Rohit Tech. Today in this video I am going to show you how to install VPN services and how to configure VPN in server 2022. This is our local server information. Our server name is SVR2. Our domain name is stb.local. In this server machine, I am using two LAN cards, for VPN configuration. One LAN card using for internet connection, and its IP address is 10.0.0.1. Second one is connected through local LAN connection, and its IP address is 172.16.0.1. So, now I am going to install VPN services in this server. Click on Dashboard. Click Add Roles and Feature. Click Next. Select Role Based and Feature Based Installation then click Next. Click Next again. Select and tick on Remote Access Role. Click Next. Click Next. Click Next. Select Routing. Click Add Features. Click Next. Click Next. Click Next again. Click Restart the destination server automatically if required. Click Yes. Click Install. Our remote access role installed successfully. Click Close. After remote access role installed, I am going to configure VPN. Go to Tools. Select Routing and Remote Access. Let's maximize it. Expand Server Name. Right click on Server Name. Select Configure and Enable Routing and Remote Access. Click Next. Select Virtual Private Network VPN Access and NAT. Click Next. Select Internet Connection LAN card. Click Next. Select from specified range of addresses. Click Next. Address Range Assignment, click New. Set the range of IP address that the server will use to assign addresses to remote client. Here we will keep the range of the IP address to the local LAN. So that if anyone dials from outside through the VPN, then it will get the local IP address of the server from which it will be connected to our local network. Our IP address range is 172.16.0.100-2-172.16.0.150. This means max VPN connection is 51. Click OK. Click Next. Radius Server, select No then click Next. Click Finish. Click OK. Expand Server. Select Remote Access Logging and Policies. Right click and select Launch NPS. Let's maximize it. Select Network Policies. Right click on Connections to Microsoft Routing and Remote Access Server. Select Properties. Click on Grant Access. Click Apply. Click OK. Right click on connections to other access servers.
Select Properties. Click on Grant Access. Click Apply. Click OK. Let's close Policy Access Server. Close Routing and Remote Access Console. Now I am going to create new user. Go to Tools. Select Active Directory Users and Computers. Expand Domain Name. Select Users. Select New, click User. Fill User First Name. Fill User Logon Name. Click Next. Fill Password and Confirm Password. Click Next, click Finish. Now our user is created, my user name is Ajay. Go to Ajay User Properties. Click on Dial In tab. Click Allow Access, under Network Access Permission. Click Apply. Click OK. Let's close ADUC. Our server-side VPN configuration has to be done. Now I am going to create VPN connection and other machine. This is our Windows 11 machine. Log on as user. Go to run. Type CMD then press enter. Ping the server IP address 172.16.0.1. As you can see, our server IP ping transmit failure. Now I am going to create VPN connection. Right click on Windows logo and select run. Type ncpa.cpl then press enter. Click network and internet. Click on view network status and task. Click set up a new connection or network. Select connect to a workplace. Click next. Select use my internet connection VPN. Click on I will set up an internet connection later. Fill internet IP address of server. Our server internet IP address is 10.0.0.1. Type the destination name. STB server in my destination name. Click create. Click on change adapter settings. This is our VPN connection. I am going to create shortcut on desktop of this connection. Let's close network connection. I am change the VPN shortcut name. Right click on VPN connection and select connect. Click VPN. Click STB server. Click connect. Type username Ajay. Fill Ajay password. Click OK. Now our VPN is connected. Go to run. Type CMD then press enter. Ping the server IP address 172.16.0.1. Space minus T. Then press enter. As you can see, our server is responding, so I am connected the local network of STB. Now I am check again of VPN connectivity, so I disconnect the VPN connection to connect it again. 
Look, I disconnect the VPN connection, the ping is transmit failure. Click connect. Type username and password. Click OK. See, as I connect VPN the STB server is pinging. This means our VPN connection is working perfectly. Go to server machine. Go to routing and remote access. Click remote access clients. From here we can check how many VPNs we have connected. At the same time. So viewers in this video you can learn how to install VPN services and how to configure VPN and how to create new VPN connection. Thanks for watching this video. Please like share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for latest updates.